nickname. Well, I mean, everybody calls me Albi, and then uh, from time to time, somebody still calls me the Italian Stallion, and there was the Albinator as well, uh, here and there. <laughs> yeah, every, I mean, every year there's kind of a different one, but Albi, it's pretty standard. Quest'anno sono stato più di due mesi in Brasile e sicuramente è uno dei posti più belli al mondo per far kite. C'è sempre vento, onde, sole, tanti amici, lagune deserte. La vita costa poco ed è anche bello vivere in semplicità come fanno i local brasiliani. Qui a Maui dopo il Brasile è tutto diverso. Il mondo è avanti, la tecnologia è all'avanguardia, i prezzi triplicati e trovi gente di tutto il mondo. Ma quando si va in acqua siamo tutti uguali, anche questo è il bello del nostro sport. Una session a Kite Beach nelle sue condizioni al top è una cosa unica per me. Io sono Alberto Rondina, this is my world, this is my ride. I don't really remember the first time I came here, you know, because uh, yeah, everybody can say me that uh, yeah, my dad uh, you know, brought me here when I was uh, four days old, you know, after uh, just after the hospital, you know, before going home, he drove me here to uh, just to feel the smell of the sea, you know, and the place, you know. Alberto è nato il 14 novembre dell'89, verso le 5 di pomeriggio. Era una bellissima giornata, un bel bambino. Gli ho preso le mani e lui mi ha afferrato il dito e l'ha stretto forte. Ho detto, guarda come stringe forte il Boma. Io già andavo con lui in surf e speravo che anche lui si potesse appassionare al mare. E allora, quattro giorni dopo, prima quando siamo usciti dall'ospedale, Prima di andare a casa siamo passati qui, l'ho portato sulla riva del mare e gli ho detto Alberto respira forte, senti questa è l'aria di mare. Questo è stato il suo imprinting, proprio qui davanti al Vela Club Marano che è stato il suo primo home spot e speravo che il mare gli piacesse, che si appassionasse agli sport del mare, ma non certo immaginavo che sarebbe diventato campione italiano, campione europeo e che arrivasse addirittura al terzo posto nel campionato del mondo e per questo sono molto fiero di lui perché il mare è tutta la nostra vita ogni giorno è diverso e quindi tanti tanti auguri Albi Alberto Bibino e che ti continui il mare a tenere compagnia tutta la vita I've been, I've been living here all my life you know so far so I don't think I've changed much you know I've been going to school here, the church is right there and my house is right there. I've been learned to swim, learned to surf, to windsurf, hide here, so pretty much everything happened here. So yeah, I'm definitely pretty attached to this place. So well, I, I started kiting back in 2001 and around 2003, 2004, I, I mean I was, I was getting better, I was doing a few tricks and I was, I was quite young, you know, so everybody was kind of like pushing me saying like yeah you can you can do it you can start competing you know yeah you, you definitely have a chance you know guess it's fair if he always pays the rent and he doesn't get better about sleeping on the couch when i'm there cause i like you yeah i like you and i feel it's a I was happy to, uh, yeah, to become Italian champion first in 2006. That was the year I won every event and yeah, it was a good time. Hey,
After that, I, I had uh, the whole summer think about what to do, and uh, I was I was pretty good in studying, you know, and yeah. So I was yeah kind of keen to start university, but there was this kind of other side of me saying, "Why, well, you know, you can you can still have lots of fun kiting, and you know, this is the right moment to do it if you want to do it." So then it was I don't know maybe destiny. I. I I didn't make it to, to the medicine school, so I started another university, which is like a lower, lower one. And then, and then Cabrina came up with an international uh, contract, and so I was like, yeah, this is it. This is the time to do it. And so, yeah, I, I stopped the university, and it's, it's on hold so far, and I started just competing and cutting 24-7 uh, for the whole year. Greatest accomplishment. Wow. Um... I think just the fact that I'm have been pretty much kiting full on the last 10, 12 years. So I mean, kind of be working sometimes here and there, but I mostly, you know, I mean, my daily job was kiting, and I think that was something, you know, pretty special that a lot of people dream about. So definitely feel pretty stoked about that one. What could bring it for me? It's a lot of things. And, uh, well, I mean, I always say family because it is kind of like that. You know, we all kind of play and work together to, you know, uh, for, the, for the same goal, you know, which is make our product work great and uh, have everybody try to enjoy cutting as much as us. Wait a second. <laughs> Albie's turning 30? Are you kidding me? Holy <laughs> Wow, man, it just seemed like yesterday when Albi just first showed up in Maui, he was just this little grom, just ripping, and he would show up every year, and every year was super cool to see, because you wouldn't see him for a year, and then he'd show up back in Maui, and he'd be just, you know, a step above every time. But the one thing that he was consistent with was the guy was just mechanical. He was a machine on the water. like stomping his tricks anything he wanted to learn he was just you know learning it right away and stomping it but he was doing it with style and flair you know something that a lot of um groms don't really have at a young age um but he seemed to somehow have it and then uh yeah over the years uh he just became part of the family and one of my coolest memories is uh, he took me around italy we did a promo <laughs> tour and we just went all over the place and I couldn't have had a better um, tour guide and, and a friend showing me around and that was that was pretty pretty awesome so Albie happy 30th um, you're part of the Cabrino Ohana and you know you're one of the most respected guys in the industry and we couldn't be more proud to have you on the team so thanks for everything and have a great time you youngin'? <laughs> <laughs>